Ladies and gentlemen, you know, before I go and take me a little shower, I was sitting up here realizing and thinking that this whole world that we live in is so petty and so childish and so backwards, and I don't understand it. Here's the thing. There's a lot of people, hey, if I tell you this, will you promise not to post it out there on YouTube? And I'm thinking... Go look at my videos, ladies and gentlemen, and see when I've ever posted something somebody else gave me without saying, hey, and they asked me to provide this for you guys. But the fact that people would say that about me because they believe that I would just, I have no integrity. I don't know where they get that from. Because if I, well, no, not if, when I go back and I listen to my videos, and yes, I do that often, because even I learn from my stupid videos. I'm not joking. I'm not making that up. I promise you. I will, especially the longer ones, I will let those things play. Because there is a lot of things. I'm doing these videos at the moment. I don't. You see all these other people who rehearse their videos. They go back. You can see how they edited their videos. Go back and look and see I don't edit my videos. I want you all to see that this is authentic, that this is not me giving you words just to suit your fancy. I don't care about your fancy. Well, anyway, I have noticed, I listened to a couple of TikTok videos, and <laughs> I'm sorry, it's hilarious to me, believe it or not, but I listened to a couple of TikTok videos where the individuals are talking about a particular subject that I am the only one who was covering that subject. But they're talking about it as if they're educating the public. Now, I don't mind getting the information out there to people, but the, 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 the cojones on these idiots, I mean, these people, to sit up here and make it look like they've always had knowledge and they've always had the information. I'm amazed. No, 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 because you can hear by the way they deliver the information where they're getting it from. See, you'll have to go back into ChatGPT or get it to reword it completely in order for me not to be able to determine whether or not you listen to my videos to get the information. I say things a certain way all the time. Okay, that's how I tag my information. I say it a certain way. Go back and listen. I told you I've been doing this for... Man, when I first started having memory problems after the operation in 1989, 1990, well, it was 1990 because I didn't wake up out of the coma until 19, uh, no, excuse me, 1989, I was correct. The coma happened December 4th, 1988. I woke up out of the coma in 1989, so beginning middle, almost middle of the year. Well, anyway... Because I was in a coma for so long, I suffered some brain damage where I have short-term and long-term memory issues. I don't remember my childhood, as most of you know, and I can't tell you what I did yesterday without really focusing on it. And don't ask me what I did last Monday, okay, or last Tuesday, or last Wednesday, or last Thursday, or last Friday, because I can't tell you. Not unless I think about it, and I mean I really would have to think about it. I'd have to focus on it. And put everything else out of my mind, which is difficult to do. But once I do, I remember everything that happened that day. So my memory is not gone. It's just there are some memory issues. Well, people have been not understanding. I say things a certain way so that when people come back to me and say I said something or I didn't say something, I can say, no, 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 yeah, I would have said that. I can do that. But... <laughs> no, I would. I never would have said something. And I'm constantly saying that to people. I never would have said nothing like that. That's not even the way I talk. You know, I'm constantly having to do that with people. Why? Because the people closest to me, my own brother, or excuse me, brothers with an S, the two youngest ones. Let me make sure I say that. The two youngest ones, the older one, really didn't have any problems with him. He never really tried to get over on me. It's the two youngest ones that have tried to get over on me and succeeded on several occasions. I have one that took more than almost $10,000 from the company that I had to pay back. And we had a deal that he would give back certain amounts of the money. And he lied. 
He purposely didn't do it. And he thinks it's okay. Everybody reaps what they sow, so he'll have to suffer, suffer the consequences of that stupidity. I don't care. I, I could care less about the money. I don't need it. And all he had to do was say, that, man, look, I really ain't got it. Okay. I've already paid it back. So, okay, I've already gave the company back the money several times over. Okay. <laughs> That's what I would have said. It ain't no big deal, but he thought he got over. Well, see, that very same brother used to try to come at me and tell me I said things that I never said. Because that was a game to him. And I didn't appreciate that. So, I say things a certain way on purpose so that nobody can come back and tell me I said something that I didn't say because when you have memory problems the worst thing in the world is for you to forget simple things and having people come back to me <sighs> make sure you all understand having people come back to me and tell me that I said something that I don't remember saying and they be 100 percent correct causes a lot of stress so that's why I say things a certain way and have been doing it for almost 30 full years. Oh, no, no. That would be almost 40 years. Yeah, because, yep, almost 40 years. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. So let's get to the nature and the crux of this particular video. We created an organization, well, I created an organization, and the members of that organization helped me create the organization called Datamass. I don't run Datamass. I'm not a part of Datamass. I don't work for Datamass. I don't do any work for Datamass. The only thing I do is review the documents that they send out to the clients, not the work they do for the clients. That's not my job. My job is to take care of making sure that the wording is contextually sound so it doesn't open up too many vulnerabilities. I'm just a proofreader, a legal guy. But other than that, <laughs> there are some people who came back, well, the IRS sent back my paperwork. Okay, and when we read it, and we they tell you exactly why they sent it back. Because of something you failed to do. Not something Datamass didn't do. Datamass doesn't do tax paperwork. So, they went to a CPA or no, a tax preparer, and the tax preparer told them the same thing the IRS said. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. And so it turns out that a mass did everything correctly again. Lord of mercy. We've had several people come back and say, well, my CPA, and they say they don't even understand this. Really? Then you need to go to another CPA. Really? That a mass. Many of you guys have the $400 billion lawsuit you've been hearing about doing the 1099s, did the videos, go listen to the lesson series. Well, you're going to find tax preparers are not going to do that for you because they think it's a joke. You can't do it for that amount is what they'll tell you, and there is no limit. It ain't even the sky. Give me one second. Uh, this is the work we were working on. How have the courts historically historically responded to claims of self-sovereignty in legal proceedings. Now, remember, I call it common law self-sovereignty. Okay? Go back and listen. Nobody was using the phrase self-sovereignty, but it is common law self-sovereignty because the Fourth Amendment recognizes it. But you'll see it's going to be well known now. See, no more sovereign citizen. That's what you got to go to the last video. The link for this is in the video. This, we created another document for you guys. Judicial notice regarding capitalization of names and legal personhood. You guys can go ahead and let the judge know. This is a simple document, but it gives you what you need to, what you need to have said before the court. You want to put my name in all capital letters? Okay, well, fine. Take my property, and you're putting it on a public record? Where's my money? Because you cannot take my property and seize it without due process of law and then use it for a public purpose. You must be out of your mind and you're making a profit off of it. Oh, no, you're going to pay me. That's what you get to add to this. Go back and look, people. I literally, by March of next year, I'll be at 20,000 videos on YouTube. 
and various other places. I'm over 20,000 if you count the launch pad and those meetings and the consults, but I'm only talking about posted on YouTube videos. I'll be at 20,000 videos by March of next year. I don't get paid for this. Go ahead and look. You don't hear me talking about subscribe. You don't. If you see commercials on my junk, that's because that's YouTube. I don't get paid for that. I'll take care of YouTube in the future. I'm not worried about that junk. I don't need their junk. I don't need nothing from YouTube. I let YouTube pay me by putting advertisement on my stuff, and then they control me at that point. They get to tell me what to do and what not to do. Okay? At first, there was a time they were hitting me up with a strike like once a month. One time they hit me up with two strikes in a row. One of them didn't carry any downtime, but the other one did. Each of those strikes were appealed and they won, were won because they're petty. So what did they do next? They went ahead and took care of my links, not letting me post links underneath my videos. So you guys can't just click on a link. You have to copy and paste. That's YouTube. All right, let's get back to this so that you guys understand. It's called the naming convention. Get that word embedded in your head. When you bring up the all capitalized name and the courts want to challenge you, oh, really? So you, you bringing up a presumption. Well, let me go ahead and rebut your presumption and bust that little bubble that you got growing out the side of your neck. Your Honor, the naming convention, policies and procedures is what backs up the all caps name. And then you just add the cases. They're right there. We we had them. Oh, by the way, I actually had Poe, not ChatGPT, do the maxims of law. A man's home is his castle. The maxim of law. This maxim underscores the right of individuals to govern their own affairs without interference. Oops. But hold on now. He who does not assert his right has none if you don't start speaking up and defending your own rights then you, it's as if you don't have any these are maxim principles so please understand that now i don't i don't like that word sovereign rights no recognition of self-sovereign rights you want to put the word self-sovereign so i haven't edited this but you personal self-sovereignty put the word self-sovereign before the word sovereign so that nobody can claim that you're trying to usurp government okay just 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 saying is all now let's get back to the crux of this video organizations like data mass and the i i really will tell you guys the honest truth if you are trying to increase your, what is that word? Asset. Assets. They're going to a digital system. So I told you guys, the best thing in the world for you to do is to get as many federal credits as you possibly can. Why? Because they can't just eradicate those. They can't just eliminate those. They can't just make those go away. Federal credits are backed by the full faith and credit of the nation. I would rather have federal credits in my back pocket than to sit up here and have dollar bills. You really are going to have to understand that, people. Reallys. So stock up on your federal credits and protect your property. Like I said, this particular program that we're getting ready to start will go hand in hand in conjunction with the SAT packs, and especially the mega pack. But this one is different, ladies and gentlemen. A new program that we're starting, this is going to be under TTOPP. TTOPP, let me see if I can um, help you all understand a little bit. I can't tell you too much because we're not there yet. And I will let you know, I'm not even the CEO of TTOPP.org. TTOPP.org. It's The website is temporary. This is... Just putting this information up here. Yeah, and I hate it when it does that. You see how it got rid of that, that picture that was there? That's the first page. It ain't nothing I can, I don't know why it does that. This is the picture. So I'm going to be redoing this website. See? And it's supposed to be keeping that. So you can't, 
until I get to doing it, y'all can't do nothing about it. I just want to let you know that this was put up in 2018. That's I haven't edited it, haven't did it, did it, did it nothing with it. Why? Because this was a plan, ladies and gentlemen. I sat a many a days inside my vacation room putting this plan together. Thank you, Mr. Um, I forgot what his name was on the 18. I love it when a plan comes together. I forgot what the man name was. But anyway, please understand, ladies and gentlemen, this was a plan. Now, being a part of TTOPP, it's not a simple thing. Go back and listen. You'll hear me protect this organization with everything I have and all of my fiber. And the fact that people get to be a part of this particular organization and they get to be a part of it as far as the member benefit association private private membership okay SACOM when it was first created was created as a member benefit organization in New Mexico just that simple Look up what an MBO is. An MBO is very similar to a private member association. They, as a matter of fact, let's do that. I'm going to ask Bard. I mean, not Bard. It ain't Bard no more. Let's ask, let, let's ask Claude. Wake up. Can you explain the differences between a member benefit organization or MBO? and a private member association or a PMA? Stop listening. This is Claude, everyone. Let me help explain. And he does his explaining because he's got some splaining to do. Member benefit organizations or MBO and private membership associations Member benefit organizations are a legal structure, typically organized as nonprofit organizations. Yay! Primary purpose to provide specific benefits and services to its members. Pay attention, TTOPP is not a public organization. Neither was SACOM, never was a public organization. That's why everyone was referred to as SACOM members when they became part of the program. Common principles, professional association, trade organization, credit unions, alumni associations, and chamber of congress organizations, or commerce, excuse me. Key characteristics of MBOs, clear benefit structure for members, often industry or profession specific, usually have a formal governance structure, generally subject to standard business regulations, and typically registered with the state or federal authorities. Typically, private member associations, legal structure, private construct, uh, contractual organizations, primary purpose service members, uh, serve members adhere to interest through private association uh, shares, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, common principles, blah, blah, blah. Now, watch this. Watch, watch, what, watch so that you can see how TTOPP is ran. Wake up now. Can you tell me what an organization would be called if you combine the two? Question mark. This is TTOPP. He's aiming to explain. A hybrid member organization membership. Um, oh, they call it a hybrid membership organization. That's my first time actually seeing that. I put it through the system before and didn't get that. Uh, oh, okay, sorry. My phone is telling me I have an account and they charge too much monthly. And so I'm going to let them have the $23 that's left in that account. It was, no, I just realized I got to add money to that account. No, I'm going to give the, the staff another card to use because I don't want that card. That card is a piece of junk. All right, hybrid membership organization uh, combines the elements of a private membership organization and a member benefit organization stop listening i apologize it has the habit of turning on okay so 
I, I don't like the word hybrid, okay, because it looks like, you know, something somebody just created out of thin air. So watch, watch this. Uh, give me one second. Oh, by the way, hey, by all means, have the idea. I originally got the idea of a member benefit organization because somebody did a video back in 2011. No, 2012. It would have been right about May of 2012 because I did it immediately in June of 2012. It's when I came up with the name SACOM and told everybody about member benefit organization. And it was that time I decided to do some little bit of research, just a little bit. And I did my research, and I, I decided, you know what, that that sounds good, and I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. So, I don't mean I digs it, I did it, D-I-D-S, dids it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take the member benefit organization, private member association, and that hybrid, and I'm just gonna put it in Chat GPT, and I'm gonna say, "Hey, Chat GPT, tell me what 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 we got here." And he he's gonna let me know. Now, this is what I want to know. Okay, wake up. Can you please provide me seven case citations showing such a corporation? Uh oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Seven case citations evidencing such an organization. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, now I do like what he says right here dual layered structure, and that's exactly what it is. And because it is private, it's unregulated. Okay, that's why we keep telling people about the agreement. That's why we have an arbitration clause in our agreement and our private member association has an arbitration clause in its agreement. Why? Because it's absolutely necessary that it have an arbitration agreement to protect the members. Go ahead. We keep, I keep trying to tell you guys, we, we don't treat our members as special. We never promised to treat them as special. But what we did promise to do is to keep our word and to carry out our obligations regarding our agreement. If we gave our word, we will keep our word. To this day, I have two women who did the... They did the SAP pack. And I think they did the plus. Their son did it for them. Um, son and nephew. And when everything was said and done, the son passed away. He was in an automobile accident. And they literally didn't know what to do. And they wanted me to come in and help them. And I had to tell them no, because I am pro, well, they don't know I'm prohibited from helping them directly. That there are so many laws that are being violated at that point. And so they both have tax credits equating to 10 million now when we were telling people about 80 million 90 million 100 million they were thinking it was a joke until they got to see the information on the videos talking about the 400 billion times 150 60 trillion dollars when they realized that everything changed i apologize ladies and gentlemen i had a something well it's still on my stove um i am cleaning a pot and so i got the stove on because it's the easiest way to clean and so they received their 10 million dollars each and they haven't filed their 1099 c's not one of them and all they have to do is file their 1099 c's and file their taxes but neither one of them files taxes is this going to hurt me? I, I haven't filed taxes in 100 years. You're only filing credits. Even if you haven't filed taxes in 100 years, the credits will eat up any penalties you may ever receive up to the amount that you're filing. Look, who else has taught you people how 
to be tax exempt legally all you got to do is go and read IRS tax topic 453 because they're telling you the same thing all right watch this here are seven case citations dealing with that hey NAACP versus Abraham X rail Really? Supreme Court held that the state could not compel the NAACP, NAACP, excuse me, TCP, anyway, to disclose its membership list. This case underscores the constitutional protection of private associations' rights under the First Amendment and a principle relevant to an HMO. Private membership structure. Roberts versus JC's. This case affirmed the right of private organizations to their strict membership and limit association to individuals aligned with the organization's mission. Exactly. Highlighting the protections afforded to private associations in determining membership eligibility. Here's the problem. We don't have any high standards for organization. We just require people to be honest. We require them to be respectful. And for the most part, and I do mean 95%, 97% of the people who come to us, that's exactly what they are. I, I can tell you something else the people who come to us are. Dirt poor. That's right. They don't have a lot of money. Look, it is not possible for me to teach you guys everything that I know. Because it's... And I'm not joking. It's too much information. It's too much information. That's why I tell you. That's why I'm covering too many things at one time. That's why I don't just focus on one thing because it really is too much information. But if you look at SACOM, look at all of our organizations, they all come together as a puzzle. TTOPP is the juggernaut. That's what I refer to TTOPP. Everything fits under TTOPP. TTOPP is the great, 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 great to the 18th billionth power granddaddy of them all when it comes to any organization I've ever created. Because it correlates and brings it all together. So, no, you can't join TTOPP no time soon. You'll have to wait until that program comes out because that's your official, official invitation. Everybody who's part of the SACOM program will automatically be incorporated. Here's the thing. But to be a part of the new program, you'll receive a discount. We cannot just incorporate you into the new program. Never promised to do that. Ain't going to do Ain't what Wouldn't be prudent. Okay? Now, look, I am, is it 2 o'clock yet? We, we are here. Hey, it's 2 o'clock. I got to get ready for another meeting. It's not for another two hours, but I, I have to wind down from all of this that I've been doing and get ready for that meeting. I just wanted to share these things with you. Look, tax season is coming up. You're going to need to have certain numbers done before you do your taxes at the beginning of the year. That I'm asked, no, there's no special discounts that they're offering, but... It would be in your best interest to get that done now. And data mass will be adding the other. We have to train the staff on it. And it is not easy training people on something that they're unfamiliar with. Because the process is to work on getting you something in return. And so I, that's all I can say. I can't go any deeper than that. I've already given them the information on how to do it. Because I understood it. And I had to wait for the leads over there to understand it. And so they finally picked up on the cues and the coos and the clues and the boos. And, the, you know, they picked up on it and they came to me and saying, guess what I just figured out? So it's about time. Literally. I literally had to tell them it's about time. And then I gave them the other pieces of the puzzle. And the enthusiasm for which they received those other pieces of the puzzle let me know that they really did get it. Now they have to get other people to get it. It took them over five months to get that. I'm hoping to streamline it and get the others that have just come on so that they can get it because DataMass picked up 
three more individuals to help with the organization. We we had roughly three people who didn't work out for various reasons. And so now they're fully just about staff. Again, I don't know what's going on with the organization. All I can tell you is data mass dot believe it is dot net. Let me make sure. Because I, I told you I have that habit. If I mention something I gotta whew, gotta follow through. D A T A M A S dot M E T. It's not .com because somebody beat me to datamass.com. Nope, not datamass.net. Oh, .org. Sorry, I apologize. Not datamass.net. Like I said, somebody beat me to it, so it's .org. And I would not have chosen a .net anyway. This is datamass.org. Datamass.org. And I would read every page so that you can understand exactly what they do, why they do it, and how they do it. Okay. All right. Everyone, I've got to go. I do hope the information proved to be very, 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 very helpful. Have a good day, everyone.